For all of its twitchy and fast-paced action, CSGO can be an absurdly tense and tactical esport. Whether you're orchestrating meticulous airtight executes... These grenades could do all of the work for them. Three of them going over the wall, one on Exist, one on Crims. Everybody's catching fire, Twist goes down, and there it is! They close it right out! Or Suka Bliating your way to B. There's usually a method to your madness. Maybe you're capitalizing on a positional weakness, or pressing an economic advantage. Maybe you're just sending it. FBI, FBI open, open up! up! Left side, left side, open up, push me! Or maybe you're injecting the game with some much-needed spice. And that's it. They're ready to shoot some ducks as they cross the middle. It's gonna be a challenge, and Apex, not in this lifetime. He is destroyed. Whatever you do, there should be some element of strategy behind it. Because for that minute and 55 seconds, there are no second chances. No respawns, no respite. Your movement needs to be precise. Your shots, crisp. What? No! no! <laughs> I have no words. One millimeter too far, one step too soon, and it's over. So when the pressure's on and you need to secure that frag, the last thing you want to do is run in and die like an idiot. You want to play with respect and a certain degree of reservation. Oh, he's read this one like a book. He's tucked in the corner. Does he catch the timing? Can't afford to look away. And that's the round for Zipnix. Unless, of course, you're the one dude in CSGO who, no matter how stupid or suicidal the maneuver, is just, well, better. It's time for regret later. It's time to focus on the now. Art creeping with AWP. Has he got time to fall back? Will he be traded? North don't know what lies in these toilets, especially with three, you gotta respect them. But Yuri will get taken out, they know that art's still there somewhere, not baited just yet, and that's the bomb once again! Way more can he get, he's stuck in this position. Gate is waiting for him to emerge from the other side. This is looking pretty grim here, Art forced forward is with it, oh, he hits another one, that is fantastic! Swaps out for the AK-47, you can't ask for any more from Art, he is an absolute superstar! Meet Andre Art Piovesan a badass Brazilian up-and-comer who skyrocketed his way into the upper echelon of Counter-Strike by doing one thing and one thing only, holding W. Not really anything to write home oh. about, but there's that. Down towards B, Taco gets his face removed, and now KNG having to rotate around from the A site. Art's trying to close the gap. Art's trying to get in their Aww. face. And he's going to roast Fallen the Molotov. Gives Fallen... Oh, Art, there's, there's a lot of mollies what? there. How's he still alive? How is he still alive? Three Incredible. points of health. He runs through the double Molotov and lives to tell the story. KNG, no, this man is what? invincible. Ow. Oh, my word. Touted as being the single most aggressive player his game has ever seen, Art has developed an obsession with entry fragging like a psychopath. So Art is the madman. He's the uh, man with the brush that's kind of turning the aggressive style of Counter-Strike upside down once more. You know remember when JW and Fur and all those guys were madmen? Well, Art is like that times 10. So what inspired Art to become CSGO's ultimate W warrior? In what sense are his strats actually super big brained? And how has his unhindered aggression revived a floundering region? It's also like an exciting rebuilding team for MIBR, you know, to yeah. finally give us the team that we wanted. But look at Art, man. He's still in the attention right now. Even with the Hughes news breaking, Art is just breaking down Team Liquid. He's still running, and he's in with a fourth. My goodness, Art. Okay, so if you're even remotely interested in Counter-Strike, and you've yet to take a second to welcome our Lord and Savior Art into your life, it's time that you learned about this magnificent, sight-rushing son of a bitch. Art is the entry fragger, in-game leader, and all-around frontman of Furia Esports, Brazilian Counter-Strike's latest breakout success. He's also largely credited with being the mastermind behind their recent rise to the top. Why? Well, in order to answer that, we need to rewind a little bit. You see, unlike a lot of CSGO aficionados, Art wasn't dyed in the wool of 1.6. 
Don't get me wrong, he dabbled in the original Counter-Strike, but like a lot of edgy, strategy-obsessed e-gamers, Art cut his teeth on the playgrounds of Team Fortress 2, and because he's a beauty, Dota 2. But in 2016, that all changed, when a friend introduced him to CSGO. And from that point on, Art was obsessed. Now that was only four years ago, so some really simple math tells us that Art got really good at CS really fast. How? By playing fast. I kind of just took the experience I had in Team Fortress 2 and something like a mental game or like in Dota. And I, I have been playing games all my life, so I just kind of feel like I was playing Counter-Strike. It was intuitive, intuitive to me. I don't think it was like hard to learn a game. And maybe, maybe the way I play, like uh, too aggressive and doing active stuff all the time, I think that, that makes you learn the game faster because all the time I'm playing, I'm doing stuff, I'm thinking about the game, I'm, I'm actively uh, rotating the map, I'm thinking all the time, because if I don't think I die. So how did Art go from the smoke-pushing Silver, who was merely experimenting with his W key, to the freight train that he is today? Well, the better he got at CS, the more he began to realize that there's something kind of inherently big-brained about playing with unhindered aggression. Where others saw brain-dead rat strats and nonsensical bullshit that people would do only in pugs, Art saw an opportunity to innovate. I got a lot of strats just out of pugs. Simple as that. I was just playing like FPL or just playing matchmaking, and I see some players doing some you, you could say dumb stuff. For me, it's smart stuff, because when they're catching off guard and just putting yourself in a bad position, they are actually being smart. They're just making plays on FPL, but they don't play like that on the game. And that always bothers me. If, if they play like that on the, the, the official games, they, they will actually play better and it's gonna work. Uh, so this is like a, a pug life uh, way of playing and that works, you know? It's like a street smart, it's pug smart. See, that's the thing about Counter-Strike. It's so brutal and so unforgiving that oftentimes one's natural instinct is to take things slow and steady. But that's not always a good thing. I mean, we've all watched Silvers try to slow walk their way to a thunderous T side. Come on, little fella. Come on. Come on, little... F oh my God, I'll just go. <laughs> anyway. Before Art could put his philosophy to the test, he'd need an org to supply him with a roster of like-minded ruffians. Masochists, who were both stupid and crazy enough to build an entire team around not only holding W, but gluing it to their goddamn keyboards. And that's how he ended up on Furia. Under Art's direction, Furia emerged from 2018 as not only Brazil's best up-and-coming roster, but a literal band of brothers. While they were still minor blips on most people's radars, that all changed in 2019, when a teammate brought something to Art's attention. A crazily overpowered, yet woefully underutilized weapon. The Krieg. Keeping Entz's dreams alive here. They lose this map, they are done for Art. He's gonna barrage with the SG, it's gonna be two kills oh! and a third! That flick across the aerial! Four people here with Nexer on the other side. They don't have a lot of grenades on G2 here, but when they go, it's gonna be fast. And oh, they just line up for him. Art with a big triple, all of them headshots. Needs to connect that headshot perhaps. Finally, Yuki gets into the action, but another headshot coming out from Art. He's doing some massive damage here, looking for the quad kill as there's a player on the board. He's gonna stick hit here. Oh no, he actually comes off of it. Oh, Art's managed to put it off. They haven't given anything away for Art. In the meantime, of course, he snuck an up connector and just straight blindsided Sergey and gonna find Ariel as well. Again, it's art. We make funny jokes because if we, if we knew that the Krieg was, was uh, that strong before, we could we could have been like a major winners way before because we just too strong and we don't even knew it. And we just kind of, kind of blaming Vinny for not telling us that this gun was so strong. Needless to say, it wasn't long before more established teams took notice of Furia's discovery, which would go on to become meta-defining. 
The Krieg enabled Art to do what he'd always dreamed of, build a roster that played unthinkably aggressive Counter-Strike, one that eschewed careful and methodical executes in favor of, well, going... <laughs> and uh, back at the, at the time, uh, uh, most teams are just doing like those normal uh, play styles. They just kind of hold us this side and they try to do exacts and fakes or double fakes. And that was just kind of the meta of CS. And on Brazil, uh, the teams are not so strong on doing those things as European teams or NA teams. So my thought process was just like, okay guys, uh, we have a good team, we have good players, we have good aim. We can just play as simple as possible and as aggressive as possible so we can punish them and don't let them play. We are better than them like this and if you just surprise them, they don't have a game to play. Four on four, Art could come right over the top. He's hoping to catch a look in the wrong way. He gets the blind up! Triple spray for Art A nearly gets a quad! Thanks in large part to their pioneering of the Krieg meta, Furia had finally found an avenue to go global. Over the course of 2019, Art put his roster on the map, helping them qualify for a slew of international tournaments, including both the Katowice and Berlin majors. I feel like this man only has a W key and an inability to look away from his opponents. And we, I kind of just kept believing it was just good enough for every team. Because I, as a player, I, I always watch uh, professional Counter Strike. Uh, since then, I was watching and I just looking at the game, and I can see that the things I, I want to do, they're gonna work as well against those teams, and nobody's doing it. Are they brave enough to go through that smoke? Our picks the right direction. He's surrounded by two more players. That's a huge headshot from him. Sees the trajectory. He knows where device is. Looking to cap him, almost, but not quite. Smokes up. They don't have to worry about bomb plant pressure just yet. There's a minute on the clock. With the clock, he'll get another kill. And all the while, he led by example, cementing himself as an unreasonably aggressive in-game leader. Oh, no. oh what? <laughs> why has he jumped? And why has it worked? I see these people rage about me from like three years back then. People are just complaining about me and say I suck. And uh, even so, they say I am so bad they still don't want to face me because it's just too annoying. I know that because when I play matchmaking, I hate these guys that just play like shitheads, you know? They're just pushing smokes, they're just throwing molotovs and going through it. Uh, you hate those guys. It's time for regret later. It's time to focus on the now. Art creeping with the AWP. Has he got time to fall back? Will he be traded? North don't know what lies in these toilets, especially with three. You've got to respect them. But Yuri will get taken out. They know that Art's still there somewhere. Not baited just yet. And that's the bomb once again. How many more can he get? He's stuck in this position. Gate is waiting for him to emerge from the other side. This is looking pretty grim here. Art Force Ball is with it. Oh, he hits another one. That is fantastic. Swaps out for the AK-47. You can't ask for any more from Art. He is an absolute superstar. And then shortly into 2020, the Krieg was slapped with a much needed nerf. And right as the community was beginning to wonder whether that would stifle Furia, Art did something that felt kind of impossible. He went even more ham. It's an overhead winner loss, but an opening up kill. Oh my God, with the quickness, Art comes through and the Deagle to combine. These guys are working together like peanut butter and jelly. And, oh, Art's going for the run boost. Hasn't quite worked out, but at least baits the shot and gains the angle. Nade into the perfect spot. Jonji wants to go through and... Oh, he's a madman. Somehow oh, no. survives. Ooh. And oh, again, P250 fall out, but Art manages to single-handedly open up that B site. Bomb is going to be thrown across for now as we see Boop. the consistent aggression. What's he doing? Art with a third, and he's hungry for more. But up against Steel, he's a man on a mission. Another leap. Oh, I don't even know what to say about that. That was insane. CTs will, however, have another buy. It's not the end of the world just yet, yeah, but this is again just art doing art things. Aggression into mid, a quick headshot onto Moose. He's even going to go jumping into the window. He's got to be careful because me who waiting on the other side, but of course, art wins that battle as well. Can Nifty trade it? No, he can't. Art is on an absolute tear, leaving just two players standing and what? Just ace it. Come on, just clear them all out. There's only one man left in your way, and Art's going to do the job all on his own. Over the course of 2020, Art's W holding went off the Richter scale. His unmatched aggression even inspired a YouTuber by the name of Hawka to put it into perspective. 
This graph shows every player's T side opening kill stats from 2015 through to 2020. The left axis shows how successful a player is in opening fights, while the bottom axis shows how often they attempt to get the opening kill. Every single one of these dots displays an entire year of a player's career, with the players at the top of the graph having the highest success rate and the players at the furthest right of the graph being the most aggressive. And you can see there are a few outliers, but mostly everyone fits into roughly the same area. Everyone except the one man I haven't shown on this graph so far. Race yourselves, and there he is. It was as if someone took Stewie, JW, and a Silver 3, slapped them together, injected them with G Fuel, and prefaced every round by saying, who cares, it's last round, go for it. <laughs> Pretending Colin's good enough to be a Silver 3. <laughs> Classic. Art is the madman. He's the uh, man with the brush that's kind of turning the aggressive style of Counter-Strike upside down once more. You know remember when JW and Fur and all those guys were madmen? Well, Art is like that times 10. The crazy thing is that the more aggressive Furia became, the better they got. You see, in addition to finishing in the top four of ESL1 Cologne North America and winning the North American divisions of DreamHack Masters Spring and ESL Pro League Season 12, Furia have solidified themselves as one of the five best rosters in the world. Dude, they have no idea. They're, they're gonna come down the ladder in front of him. He's, he's and he's gonna flank. show, he's right <gasps> there, yeah. There's a player that Ooh. can flank, he's gonna get that kill it's too. Done. It's done, Nitro, he's tapped down. Art finishes the round and we crown our champions. DreamHack Masters Spring 2020 belongs to Furia. Thanks to their fearless leader and the truly artisanal ass whoopings he's dished out, Furia are well on their way to being a household name, cementing themselves as a terror on the server. So how is it that Art manages to be this unremittingly nutty? To hold down his W key in even the most high pressure of situations? Well, as it so happens, I'm a bit of an aspiring W warrior myself. So, as someone who pretty much worships the ground on which Art walks, I had to ask him. So, I did. I, I have to say, I really don't care. Like, I just don't mind if uh, uh, this loses the game or that wins the game. Uh, I just think that I'm doing the right thing I, and I don't doubt myself and I trust my my knowledge of the play I'm doing. Like, if I'm doing something aggressive, I trust that that, that thing is good. It isn't clear exactly what the future holds for Art and his acolytes. But whatever happens, one thing is for sure. These dudes are bringing back Brazilian Counter-Strike in a big way. And they're beyond excited about it. But regardless of nationality, Furia are amassing fans across the globe for their bold, balls-to-the-wall playstyle. Art hasn't just proven himself as a force to be reckoned with. He's inspiring the entire Counter-Strike community to speed things up a bit. And God knows, if there's any hope of us keeping up with him, we're gonna need to. For me, it's just huge how many people uh, are looking up for us. Uh, and I don't know, if it happens to be that we are the next team that Brazil uh, takes to, to, to love or just hate, uh, I would love to be in that spot. If this is going to happen, it's going to be a natural process and it's up to our results. If we keep playing good and we can play major finals, get to playoffs, majors, win a major, we are thinking about the game. If we play well and we deserve it, it's going to happen. So just the USP is coming through. Ooh. Oh, he's already in B. Asa. Such a weird. He's right there, oh though. He's walking all the way through. He's walking all the way through. Oh, no. They've put smokes in just for him to make a wall run all that oh. way through. That's such a cool strat. <laughs> What on earth? That is so cool. <laughs> That's so bizarre. So you know this meme, right? How do you think I should pronounce it? Like, burr or br? Like going burr, burr, burr. burr. <laughs> <laughs>